Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. No, thanks. <clears throat> Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Mm. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. A regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Snake. What a I'll be your eyes from now on. I'm searching and I'm melting to you. <laughs> what a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. Thank you. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Snake, come here for a minute. There's something in here. It's so hard. Oh. When did it get like that? Hold still. Let me do it. You know, I've been trained to do this kind of thing myself. Just relax and let me handle it. Okay. I can't believe how small it is. Yeah, but it gets the job done. Really? Here, lift up your hips. Like this? Yeah. How's that? You're pretty good at that. Yeah, everybody tells me that. Hold steady, I'm not done yet. There, a transmitter. Uh, is that how they do it in the KGB? Sometimes. Would you rather I did it American style? <laughs> How'd you know there was a transmitter lodged there? That's some female intuition you've got.
Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohod's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohod itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? Twenty minutes. Once the Phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah. That's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohod's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh. Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh. Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double-cross me. 